we want to evaluate if this um, statement is sometimes always or never true. Now the statement is that you have two circles and they have different centers and radii of the same length. So that means we have a circle, right, and another circle, and the radii are the same length. That means that we have two congruent circles, right? So if I have this circle here with a center, right, O, let's call it, and a radius R, right, and then I basically just take that shape and maybe I copy it and I'll paste it and then I don't know maybe um, I turn it a bit so it looks like this. Now these are the exact same circles they have different centers O over here and it's called this O prime and radius and radius prime but the radiuses are equal to each other when that happens you have congruent circles I mean first of all all circles are similar to each other right every circle is exactly the same but the only difference is its size in other words its radius so right away since they have the both they have the same radius doesn't matter if they have different centers they're congruent so then they ask us if they have central angles of equal measure then those angles will intercept arcs of the same length the answer is always because if we have two circles let's say this is the the arc we're forming here and I'll draw it again over here right because these circles are exactly the same size, this angle, whatever it is, theta, and this one, those are equal angles, they'll intercept equal portions of the circle. It's just a logical thing here, right? So it's like taking a circle, cutting out a piece of it, and then cutting an equal piece out of the same circle, you're going to get the same arc length. I mean, if you want to think about even the formula, right, the way we find arc length in degrees is to take your angle, theta, multiply it by pi over 180, and then times the radius. Well, if the only variable here is the angle and the radius in the formula, and you have the same angle in both cases and the same radius, the answer, right, to the calculation here must be the same in both cases. So here's a situation that's always true. Thanks.